Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to make a shiny app for R using ChatGPT. So here we are in ChatGPT and I've started with this instruction here. So create an R shiny app to graph bivariate combinations of numeric variables from the diamonds data set. So that has quite a lot of information there in it. Uh, hopefully that is going to be sufficient for for ChatGPT to generate me some code that is going to work. And if we have a look at the first set of code that it generated, this is looking pretty likely. Sometimes it'll generate code that looks good but doesn't really run. Uh, but let's grab this code, let's copy and paste over into RStudio and see what it does. So I've copied the code over into RStudio as a new shiny application. We'll hit run, generates up, and we can see that it's actually done a pretty decent job. We've got our X and Y variable, we've got our scatter plot. Uh, if we look at the drop downs, we can see that they have not filtered out the non numeric variables. So we've got things like color, which are categorical rather than numeric. Uh, but other than that, Given our basic instruction, it's done a pretty good job. So from here, what we can do is we can start to try and make alterations. If we want to have better labels, better captions, different formatting, things like that. But in that single line command, we were able to generate all that code, which some years ago would have taken a bit of, bit of messing around to do. And it's generated exactly what we wanted in Shiny. So if we go back to ChatGPT, and whenever we've had ChatGPT create something for us, we can add additional prompts to try and alter. So I'm asking it to rewrite the code, uh, include only the numeric variables from the diamond data set, and add color. And here you may spot uh, where this is actually a little bit of an issue, because I actually wanted colors on my graph. But I forgot that actually one of the variables in the diamonds data set is also called color. And so when we scroll down, uh, we'll notice that it says specify the color variable uh, for the scatter plot. So it didn't do quite what I wanted. Uh, but in fact, we're actually going to end up with something in some ways that is a little bit better. So let's take this code, copy it over. We can see here they've done a uh, is.numeric test. So hopefully that will filter the numeric variables so that was missing from the last one. So we can see the chat GPT has already taken our instruction and improved on the previous code. But let's see what it looks like now. So here is our updated Shiny app. When we look at the drop down, it is indeed filtered. So we only have numeric variables now. But what it's added, and this wasn't my intent, but this is actually even better than what I intended, we've got the color variable in there as well. So we've got the additional variable where it is going to scale the color of the points based on that particular variable. And we can change that one and see what happens. Uh, some of these, like this one, not overly interesting and useful to us. Uh, but still quite handy thing to be able to do on our scatter plots to be able to add that third dimension using color. So I think this was a really good lesson in terms of thinking about instruction, also thinking about where something could have different meanings. So there is color, the categorical variable, there is color, I just didn't want black dots, and then there is color as a uh, additional component of my GG plot. And I didn't specify that, ChatGPT kind of tried to figure out what I wanted and in the end actually did something a little bit better. If I want, I could go back and add some more specifications to clean this up. But really what I wanted to show you was just how quickly and easily you can now make shiny apps using ChatGPT to generate all those chunky bits of code that previously you could have used templates, but you still had to go through and change the variables and change little uh, parameters in there. And this is just so much easier. So I'm not going to put the code on my website like I normally would. I will leave it for you to just jump into chat GPT. It can generate it for you instead. So I hope this has been helpful. I would definitely encourage you to start playing with chat GPT as an R user if you're not already.
just makes some of the coding so so much easier than it has been thanks for watching i will be back soon with more videos on r statistics research and random stuff